Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today it's the 1970 United States Lincoln Penny. We have five of the S Pennies right here because the S Pennies, what uh, 1970 is famous for, the large date and small date S Pennies. What about the other mints? Well, Denver made the coins too and you can tell they made a couple different forms of the D here. This one's a really loose kind of light D. This one's a bright D, but they didn't have the large date, small date issues at Denver. They just made regular coins at Denver. They made 2.9 billion of those regular coins, and two of them have graded at MS67 plus and are worth $3,500. They also made them at the Philadelphia Mint, and that would be a no mint mark coin, 1.9 billion. So between Philly and Denver, 4.8 billion. So there's plenty of them out there to look through. At the Philadelphia Mint, they found four Mint State 67 pluses so far, and those are worth $5,500 each. But don't look at the Philly and the Denver for large date, small date. Those will all be on the San Francisco Mint coins. There are a couple different kinds of S pennies. The San Francisco Mint in 1970 did make proof pennies. And here's one of them right here. And this is the 1970 proof Lincoln scent. And you can see it's kind of shiny, just a little bit different feel to it. This is not a deep cameo or anything. This is just a regular proof scent. Uh, it's a it's chipped up. It's been used. It just got thrown in with some of the other ones. In 1970, they made 2.6 million proof pennies. Say, saying, God we trust at the top, Liberty here, 1970 here, and then way down underneath, right there, for Victor David Brenner, the engraver of these coins. This is a 95% copper, 5% zinc. It's called a bronze coin. And then we get to the back, we see that's a Lincoln Memorial reverse. United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum here. Lincoln way down in there. Way over to the side, you can see an F and a G for Frank Gasparo, the engraver. The back of these coins has one cent here. Then let's look at what we're talking about in terms of the date and the money. So there's a large date and a small date, and they all have the S mint mark on them. There's a large date, small date proof coin, and then there's a large date, small date regular S coin. And by regular S coin, what do I mean? Well, San Francisco wasn't only a proof mint back then. It, it did it did regular circulating coins also. And so this is the 1970S circulating coin. And this had a small date and a large date on it too. And at the San Francisco Mint in 1970, they made 693 million. So how do you tell a large date and small date penny from 1970? Well, this is the PCGS website. And you can see that has a large date over here with a low seven the small date over here with the high seven. And if you look at this coin right here, it's very, very hard to tell. From my perspective, this is one of the hardest varieties to identify in all of United States coins. So you look over here and you see that the, the top of the seven and the top of the zero and the top of the nine are all pretty much aligned. When you look over here, you see that the top of the nine and the top of the zero um, are somewhat higher than the top of the seven. When you look at the seven here, you see that it goes somewhat lower than the O. These are almost impossible to tell just using your eye. You really have to magnify them up. And to actually determine it, you really probably have to take it to an expert. This seven at the bottom is pretty much straight across. This seven at the bottom goes a little bit below the So that's your 1970 large date and small date Lincoln one cent coin. The dates are pretty similar, but the S's are all over the place. And I'll show you. This S is kind of pretty high. This one you could get, you know, draw, a, put a piece of paper through it. This one's pretty high. But look at this one here. This is not a proof coin, but the S is way lower. So look at this one versus this one. You can see how the S just drops way down below the numbers. So what happens is some of this stuff is really hard to tell the large date and the small date because the S's are all over the place. So this one way stuck up in there, the S's almost touches the nine. This one way down below. This one kind of in the middle. I can't honestly tell any of these whether they're the large date or the small date. This one looks like a large date to me with the S way up in there. This one looks like a small date with the S way down below. But what's the value of some of these proof coins? Well, if you can get a proof 
1970 DCAM with a small date, it's worth about $9,500. If you can get a proof 1970, proof 69 with a large date DCAM, it's worth $700. We're looking at the 1970 Lincoln US pennies, and here are all three of the mints. Here's the S's, there's the Philly, and there is the Denver right here. All right, have a great day from DC Coinroll International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.